There is something about the way I see things now. My eyes have opened to see the unsung beauty of my great county, Meru. A beauty that is not of only the rivers and the breathtaking scenery, but a beauty that our unsung heroes took an oath to. This is Meru County, a land to behold. So breathtaking that it will take a century to amass all its beauty. Walk with us through this journey. It is on the slopes of the great snow-capped Mount Kenya that Meru County lies. A land that portrays a wealth of agricultural activities with the white milky rivers and waterfalls running across it, unleashing the beautiful environment. A land of plenty, Kenan as many call it. This soil we so much cherish has been watered by much bloodshed. These gushing streams and waterfalls where our mothers scrapped their earthen pots and gourds while our fathers took out the flock into the forests for pasture and to the streams to quench their thirsts. It is here a hero lived, General Musa Moriyama. General Musa Moriyama is our Meru legend, an icon, a leader, a mentor, a figure that anyone would wish to understand and meet. We would also love to understand how we acquired this wealth and tranquility we enjoy today. We bring you the hub of Meru. We are the legend of our great Moliyama. As we crisscross this massive Meru county, we get a feeling of what it feels to be free from the white man's rule, to walk without fear. On our journey, we encounter a man who gives us a preview of what we expect to quench our anxiety. We are in the Cultural Center, a Bishop Lawi Imadi initiative. We have come to learn more about the role and impact of the Mau Mau Freedom Fighters during the colonial and post-colonial era. My name is Lawin Toy Matthew. I'm happy to tell you that the coming month of June 26th, I will have clocked 83 years I have lived in this world. I am so happy to say that I have been, or I have seen, the ruling of the colonialists. I was under colonialist rule for 21 years. Actually, more than 21 years, almost 22 years. It is from this great Meru community we present the story of this great unsung hero. Field Marshal General Musa Mariam in the shape of a documentary. General Musa Mariama lived like any other man in Meru community. His intrigues will remain implanted in every young and old person's mind that listens, hears, or watches this documentary. 
traveled across the steep mountains of the great Mount Kenya in search of the story of General Musa Mwaliyam. Today, we are visiting the Ameru Cultural Center dedicated for General Musa Mwariyama and the Mau Mau veterans. <laughs> Mto Kerubwa Alias Mtomochiri was born in 1928 in Tigania district. Mudhara Division, Adhinga Adhanje Sublocation. Aya, ni mpita wa Sibriano Tomokia Ntuarido, kuno Adhanja, Akaia, Oko, tuti aliyama na mwariyamani, tuwebanje mwe. Intuita nwe kuma uweze bwawe, Nuntu kia mba wita kila kene, aliku ura mweku wa itiri na kabori ya mara lewe na nunga kia mba kuhuki ya kabika. Ayu kia kabika ya mkuru, kabika na nuntu kietu huu. Na kuhu, imbi jima antu ya mwari ya mwaku uma wana wawe. Uma kinya, aimu ya kitani. The Meru community named their children according to age group depending on the season. General Musa Mwariyama was of Mechobo age group. Kaberia ka Mechobo age set. Itorea wale wane eta wambarimu. Atano eto tokiri kwa tomukiri. Kumbike kono wa mkuru wa wa Mwariyama kwa ya Non, qui n'a qu'à la tenne n'a rien de venir beaucoup moins. Car qui a eu ma tour en des scouts. This soil holds a lot of memories. Hey, we were really nothing. A DC who was a white person for you. To greet him with a, with a hat on, you would find yourself into jail or a slap. And uh, then to come short, I don't know what Kenyatta did with our people, really, to be honest. But actually, politics were there, serious politics. But they were working underneath. People saying that we are going to make sure that one day we shall rule ourselves. But what was encouraging us to be proud of being black is like books of people like this uh, Agri of West Africa, Dr. Agri. They used to say Dr. Agri was a great person. And uh, we, 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 it was written that he had about four or five doctorates. So we are very proud of knowing that there is a black person who, who can also get education. Proud of it. And when the first African, Bio Koinange, got a degree, Bio Koinange, oh, Peter Bio Koinange, uh, they were even singing and praising Bio, Peter, Nimodongo, Noge Konde Keiro. Having this bitter taste in our mouth, of the white man's rule, we plunged into the unknown. This is Kiamogo terrain on our way to Field Marshal Musa Mariyama's second home. 
the treacherous terrains and edgy cliffs tell it all of what the freedom fighters had to endure to bring back our lost glory and the soil of this land. This is Kiambo Gote Ring on our way to the late Field Marshal Musa Mwariyama's second home. Field Marshal Musa Mwariyama lived and played like any small boy would. This was nostalgically narrated to us by one of his daughters. Yakinidia, <laughs> It is when Mwariyama became of age that according to the Meru tradition, a naming ceremony was performed and he was given the name Baringo. Later, because of his prowess, he was called by the late Dedan Kemadi, Mwariyama, meaning the one who speaks the truth. His son, who has the looks of his father, recalls him as a loving father. Kama 
ni hata sisi kumbuka tunamuuliza hapo wewe mzee unaenda unaongea kama rais moyo ulikuwa mnaongea hapo na ni kwa nini wewe usi una kiuna vitu anatuambia unajua kuna kitu kimoja ambaye kuna watu kibwa tunapigana na wao na kuna chenye wamepata wamepata na nikikula peke yangu juu kuna kiapo tumekula ni tamura When Field Marshal Musa Mwariyama went into the forest, the family members felt forlorn. Oreo, tureo egitare ureonde. Ndio tu yire kuona thirikari ya twakuya. Anto batune. Pato kuya to tukona vekinyire michinka ndi wetu. Baba akarani baya mami. Toke ami na tuture ami na nyoko. Tukona michinka ni kinyithirwe nde ndi ngazoka akenyuse. Ngakarambe onkiona yara yara ya kuende. Ndakunta nyana ta ya wita. Ndai kai mukuru ka yutua. Aita. Ore u ngambe isiariri ku mano ndu mukuru ari wa Rwanda, ari na ngambe sia wi nyingi, isiariri ku yukwire itwa ku ndu ku yetwa maiti ni kinduri. Ile weta me kinduri ila nyarirwa kuo na amukuru warawa muara wa twa araikwa ku ndu ku mwe au mudire kwa kwa ari bairi eri pato. Para bai na na bai mama Mwariyama Mwariyama sacrificed his love and well-being of his family and children for the love of his country. Ari wele ta ke dake ene. Ende to tiwa to ri ara ate muntu ra wa to 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 mo. To to mo na. No ko menya ne ende ni lo to ya to diere na to ka ri o. Na kaki takala tu ambil dia ko izi luanja, tu izi luanja, tu joga tu ikuan kambi ni kerja kuri yang ambil dia, tu ku ma bawa bawa, mami, na bawa bawa angin bari bari ni we, tu ane ni kiri batu, tu ikuan, ni dia ko kari oh, eh ni tu dia ni tu kari oh. Muda nanti awak tua ikuan cera, ungu awak tua ikuan cera. Nanti tua tua bapa kau bagi nyawa taru kau kau yang nak kau dikari. Tua kami ni nari ku. Tua ini ku wata wayam bus. Nara nyumba ku aku cia 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 dikari. Tua itu ku singa. Tua itu kau yang tua itu wata ayam bus. Tua magu. Tua magu bus. Oh, ikut. Enaknya itu tu ada pion nanti nginggi jangan dia ini ngan beri dia itu. Tua tu 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 dek itu dek. It left a feeling of loss in them. It dawned on us the impact it had on those who were close to him. Rasiari boy. Pepte four, untuk hati kita mami akan mati tiara kati neu. Nanti ni dah kura, nanti mana dekwa dah kura na mami. Eh tak tu mana akan mami yang gua. Eh tak kau, eh tak kau. Mami dia macam, eh tahu mua, eh tahu dia mua. Dia mua dia mua dia mah. Eh cuma dia. Nanti eh tak akan jumpa. Oni datola kau bawa mukuru, datola kau bawa mukuru nak kemana? Gua nampak apa? Etapade mau mukuru. 
An attribute that we Kenyans, if willing, can strive to emulate. His love and concern was not only echoed by his family members, but also the people he worked closely with as their leader in the forest. Now I was told by my mother to go and take food to him during the day. I was in Baitai nine years. When I took food there, I was caught on the way by my mom. When I was caught on the way, good luck, I was caught by my mama and his group. First of all, a person came and caught me, went to the bush, I went and saw uh, these old men because I didn't know their names. They just asked me, who are you? I told them that I'm Simon Haroro. Who is your father? I told them my father is John. They said, oh, that is the person we always fight. We don't see him here. Then I was afraid by that time. By the time, Mariama told me. Because I didn't know what I was going to by there. But it's later when I came to understand. I told them, don't kill this boy. Because if we kill this boy, we have this uh, chair. I don't know what you call it here. That is uh, we, we, the lineage. Uh, the lineage in him. So because I'm here and I have caught the boy being first, don't kill him. Then I thought so I was to be killed. I didn't know. By then there were groups of uh, these uh, white people who had seen some smoke somewhere where we were. Then they had to throw or to shoot there with a gun. When he had, we had the gun, where the man just rescued me and put me on the, on the shoulders, he ran away. 
Then after running away, we went to the forest, we went there. I was very afraid, I didn't know what happened. Then uh, my neighbor told me we are not going to be killed, I'm with you. So don't be worried. You know the reason why we are here. I just told him, no, we are here because white people are taking our land. White people are killing us. White people are doing this. So I was told a lot of things. I tried to hate them. And I had even your father is residing with them. That is why we are fighting your father. To go away. And okay, they are watching Kuku, Chilkian, now on Gresa. So I even started hating my father. By then, my mother told me, Do you know, you are going back so that you go to school. I told him, No, I want to, I want to go to school. I will stay here. And when I will get a chance to see those small boys of white people, because those are the ones I will be able to kill, I kill them. He told me, No, you kill them. Uh, will be killed. So go to school, learn, then later you will come and help this country of ours. We sought to know what Kenyans thought about the Mau Mau freedom fighters. The rule of a white person was bad, I can tell you. When you see you with a nation, an Indian, is above you. And uh, shops, like Muhammad Moti shop, it was only meant for white people mm. and the government people. Mm. Not anybody could walk in there and buy. No way, man. Pig and the weasel here. Mm -hmm. Nobody could there and get a cup of tea as time. Oh, mm. what? a black person for you to walk in. That's why even African women tried to change their faces to be white because being black is a low thing you can think of. Mm -hmm. Even women thought that if, if you turn white, if you, you, turn white you, are, you are more valuable than the other 